Hey guys, this is JTS Unlimited today. We're uh, up in Lake Rosemount. We're, we got both, both our bikes out. What we're going to talk about today is uh, what we think would be the best beginner bikes, really. Honestly. Baby, wait, I know that you're afraid, but it'll be okay if you just stay with me. We've both been riding for, I'd say about a month now. Yeah, probably close to a month. And uh, like I said, we're up in Lake Rosemount. The weather's beautiful out today. It's nice and cloudy. Gorgeous. And we got a cold front down here, so it's fucking like- It's 87 it's degrees, like and not a, degrees, it's not 100 degrees anymore. And, uh, but yeah, today the goal is to talk about um, some of the bikes that we think would be fantastic beginner bikes. And, um, yeah. You wanna talk about yours first? MTO3, Yamaha MTO3. 2021 edition. Just picked it up about a month ago. I like, I don't know, 1300 miles on it. I've been trying to ride the living shit out of it. And um, it's been fantastic so far. I love it. So, I, mean, I don't know what to complain about, really. I don't, I don't really have much experience with other bikes, but I mean, from what I have rode, it's, it rides really nice. It's super light. It's like, I think, 375 or something like that like i don't even know if it's that heavy honestly I, that, I mean, that, that's being like fucking nice to it or like mean to it i guess yeah but uh like cornering and stuff like that fantastic i mean there's not like a ass load of power but i mean it gets the job done for sure and for a beginner that's kind of what you're looking for yeah it's, uh, it's like i said it's a 300 it makes about yeah. mid 30s yeah it makes i think 37 and then like 20 foot pounds of torque but like it's only in the like that like eight to eleven thousand range you gotta stay in there that's where the bike really wakes up um, and then we got john's trz over here all right this is what i went with for first bikes this is a 2008 yeah. trz 400 supermoto oh uh, i just bought this one used when i bought it it already had a uh, 34 big bore kit, a full uh, MRD exhaust, and I think a 40 millimeter FRC carb. So factory bikes make, I think, like 33, 34 horsepower. This one's probably estimated to be closer to 45, just all the mods that has done to it. Uh, yeah. It's I, a nice bike for sure. I love this thing. It's they're, a lot of fun from what I've rode. Yeah, they're pretty cheap for what you get. I mean, I'm yeah, what you paid forty five hundred dollars yeah, for? It's not the best on the highway. The way this one's geared, it'll run seventy all day. Anything above that, you're kind of winding it out. Mm -hmm. But it'll, it'll do seventy all day. Oh, but just fun. You can go anywhere with it. I mean, it's a dirt bike at yeah. the end of the day. Yeah, you can ride it on the fucking grass if you wanted to. I mean, it's a little sketchy with street tires, yeah. but I mean, you but can for surely do it. It's a good bike to, I think, because if you drop it. You're not gonna fuck it up as much as dropping something yeah. like that. Uh, it's real. It's really forgiving. It'll do a wheelie if you dump the clutch, but mm -hmm. as far as just straight up, you know, you accidentally let off a little too fast, you're in a power wheelie, you're gonna be fine. Yeah. Uh, it is a little more, I'd say, raw than that because it doesn't have ABS. So yeah. if you're not careful and someone pulls on in front of you or you will lock up the tire, hot, the back tire will lock up relatively easily. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Besides that, I. 
yeah it rides really smooth i mean you can eat up bumps you can do all kinds of shit it's that that the M mt i mean you can do it but it's not it's not enjoyable where this will just eat it up but you can hit speed bumps going yeah. 35 on this thing and yeah you gotta slow down on that i mean you can sit down and doesn't you can hit it but it's just not very fun for your nuts i'm no. <laughs> not gonna lie but uh, like you were saying this thing has a uh, abs and I mean, that's about the only thing that that thing doesn't have. It's ABS and... Um, I mean, this one does cruise a lot better on the highway. Yeah. Alleged top speed's about 115 or so. Yeah, it's about that. But at 70, it's a lot happier than that bike. Yeah, and I might just... The only thing is you get like the bobblehead effect because you're just sitting yeah, there. There is no wind. It's a naked. Yeah, there's it's no a naked. Wind there's no windshield. I might put one of those little mini mini ones that go up to like right there just to help out a little bit. But I know we were riding home last night. It was pretty cold, and I had yeah. a jack on. I was full tuck on the DRZ trying to block. Yeah. The wind. At night, it's been getting real cold down here. Surprisingly, even though it's like still summer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I say real cold. That's cold for down here, 65. Uh, mods in your bike, all, all you've done so far is yeah. the throttle tube, huh? Yeah, I've only done the throttle tube. And um, I got a couple more ideas for it. I'm going to put a Acropovic exhaust, uh, power command, get rid of this ugly shit. And um, I think that's about it. I'm, I'm, I actually think I'm going to wrap all this in carbon fiber and whatnot. Maybe get the wheels redone. Not blue, or not the... Uh, hot pink orange color i don't know what that is but it's that but yeah so um if y'all don't have a motorcycle and you're thinking about getting one just do it yeah we woke up one day and we're like we we want bikes and i promise you i'll never have i'll never not have a motorcycle again yeah this dude really was very hesitant about it yeah As, I if was. i remember correctly when he bought his it was the worst financial decisions ever made and now you can't get them off of yeah i ride it literally every day to work and it gets like i can't beat it bro it's i get like thing. Uh, I get like 55 miles to the gallon, and that's like me raw dogging the fuck out of it. I, this gets slightly less being that it's carbureted. Yeah. But I can still go. Yeah, if I fill up once a day, he's filling up. Maybe twice. Maybe twice on a rod. Yeah. Like I said, we rode fuck, probably 100 miles yesterday, and I burned mm -hmm. uh, 1.7 gallons of gas or whatever. So, I mean, it's still, if you ride it nice, it'll get a good fuel mileage. But if you ride it how Supermoto is ridden, yeah. Get, getting down on it it's a uh, it drinks guys but mm -hmm. that's just a steel carburetor yeah but it's uh it's been a load of fun so far uh we do have a friend he couldn't make it we were trying to get him to come out but uh he has a little um he has a harley 883 yeah 80 883 we're gonna have him come out and show so you could show like you know a cruiser supermoto and yeah But, I mean, that's not a bad bike, neither. If you're into the whole, like, uh, wanting to cruise, have a Harley thing, it's definitely a fun little bike. You get to be a lot more relaxed and comfortable, but you give you give up, for sure, the the uh, fast-turning abilities and sporty... Yeah, you sport down on them, but oh, yeah, for sure, drag but... Peg if you get a little aggressive on yeah, them. and especially for a beginner, you drag and peg, that's going to be a little fucking scary. Yeah. So, but, like, I mean, me and him both, we'll be going through corners doing... 70 limit. yeah <laughs> this the speed limit but yeah i mean both these bikes will get down to the like they're not fast by no means but like when you can eat up corners I mean, you don't have to slow are, down and they get down yeah it's not like the big one like the big cc bikes where you have to slow down and go through the corners no you just yeah these you just keep it fucking pegged and just go through the corners doing 70 and it loves it yeah. like my bike i don't have to i don't have to um really do much work it sort of just wants to do it for you his bike turns better than this you, you, i don't i shouldn't say better you just have to want yeah, to you have to make yeah you gotta want it to turn you know, up more you gotta at least for me i'm a smaller guy you gotta fucking you gotta get it yeah but that being said this bike has a way more torque 30 and yeah. way more power so yeah right and now it, at least and it has like a 33 inch seat height I'm yeah. what like five ten maybe yeah and when I'm on it, like, I don't feel, like, if I want to, that's sitting on one foot, but, like, I can almost like put it with both feet. That, that was one of the things I was worried about getting the DRZ is that it does have a really tall seat height. Yeah. But a bike like his. Yeah, like, mine, you can, like, like, it actually sits lower than a Grom, if, if I do believe. Yeah. It sits, like, a half inch lower than a Grom. I mean, you can, you can easily flat foot it. 
this is with it leaning over on the high side, and I got both feet yeah. easily flat. Yeah. That's another thing to look out for if you. If you yeah. You're a shorter rider. Yeah, if you're a shorter person, I mean, I'm not like a shorter. I'm I'm probably the same height as John. I mean, about five ten, five eleven, and. I mean, I just wanted it just for the pure fact of how fucking comfortable it was. It's fantastic. Um, We're, we've been really working on uh, getting our motor vlog and shit set up. Yeah. We have the GoPros on. We just need to get the just, mics and everything that's going to be able to... Um, yeah, get the actual audio. Yeah, get the audio and whatnot. With the newer GoPros on the 7s, I heard it's not bad. But on the 9s and the 8s, you have to buy the GoPro media mods. Yeah. Bucks and a microphone and all that shit and then you have to get the bluetooth headset to yeah. talk to each other and that's it's ended up being like seven eight hundred dollars for both of us once it's done yeah so, so we're, we're working on that yeah we'll, we'll we'll should have them in the next couple of weeks for sure but as of right now we're just sort of trying to work with what we got but first like this so far i haven't had more fun in a long time no this is great yeah like that, the side by side shit's fun, but you gotta load it on a trailer, drive three hours yeah. away, get fucking muddy, sleep in your truck. This, you just wake up like, eh, I wanna go for a little yeah. ride, go ride. What, we, what we've been liking to do now is we just go and ride in some back roads, finding somewhere to eat, yeah. eat something, ride home, make it about a three, four hour ride. Mm -hmm. And it's it's really sort of been helpful. I mean, I know it's been slow for the YouTube right now. There ain't really been much for rides besides like shit way off, like 10 yeah. hours away. The last one was 10 hours away. Yeah, it, we just had we had the hurricane. Hurricane Ida came through, and it was the same. It wasn't the same weekend, but it was a weekend afterward. And everybody's trying to still pick up, clean up, and you know get everything back to usual. And we just simply couldn't get and out there. We were have we had to help too many what, friends and whatnot. What like I've seen behind the scenes also is my bike is a yeah. lot worse off than it'll be a video coming out soon, but. Yeah, John, we've, we've know, discovered a few things. I think we talked about good. my transmission. Yeah, we have video of my transmission yeah. going out. And we, put, we got to, we rebuilt the trans, found out all the problems and everything. Yeah, we were going to make a video about it, but it's just been, there's been so much happening with it that, like, yeah, it's no. we don't know where to start and where to stop with it. Because as we're going, we're finding more fucking things. Yeah, I'll probably get a little video when we get to the house just to have it on record. But the front diff is completely cooked. All the welds on the lower control yeah. arms are all broken. Yeah, they're broke as fuck. You can't, I can't get any of the bolts out of it just because they're so bent and yeah, seized. Yeah, they're up. bent and seized inside the arms. It's it's yeah. sort of turning into a nightmare. So we're going to have to go back and cut everything out, we, fucking rebuild everything. So my bike's going to be down for, it's been already been down for a month and a half. It's probably going to be down for yeah. another three, four weeks. I think the next side-by-side -side video we're going to have is uh, Sabine yeah, for the Battle of the Builds. But, at the end of the month. Yeah, we're not going to stop doing that for the time being, for sure, but we just really haven't had any, um, any close we haven't had any, yeah, rods close enough, and we really just haven't had any time. Luckily, we've been able to still get a little bit of footage, because we got the bikes, and that's sort of been helping out a lot, but, yeah, um, like, we, uh, we did some work to them, I had to put a new clutch cable on my bike yesterday, made a video on that, you know, just a little thing. We actually did a, yeah, I did a our, that's another big thing with these bikes. So the throttle is like uh, very long, like very, very long on these uh, the MT03 on the stock. On the stock, so, you're like, you, like right now, that's full throttle because you put an R6 tube on, but before, like, you'd be you yeah, know, you have to like wrap your fucking hand down, and it was we gotta, we gotta this thing so, but yeah, um, for sure. So we're gonna go probably ride a little bit, um, have a little bit of fun, whatnot like that. Yeah, I might go find. Uh, I don't know if there's anything more scenic around here than this, honestly. But we're gonna go try. We and find could hit something. like 421. It's a nice road, beautiful road. Yeah, you got some fields. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Ready to see some uh, motor vlogging content? Make sure you subscribe. Yeah, we're gonna be doing that on our off time while we can. Hopefully we'll be able to do at least one of those a week. Cause yeah. I don't want to say it's an easier video to make, but we can just sit there and bullshit. Yeah, much easier. It, it, it take a little, from what I've seen, they're a little hard to edit because you got to put all the sounds and videos together. But yeah. But like. I don't see why we couldn't do like an every Friday. Or, yeah, as of like actually getting con like getting content and videos out. Yeah, you, don't it'll, to, you don't have to drive five hours. Yeah. Fucking hard. yeah, and then have to wait till Monday to be able to edit them, you know. For this, you can just can go shoot, on a couple hour ride. Shoot one on a fucking weekend, come home and upload it Monday. Yeah. You can start doing, if y'all want to see it, one moto vlog a week, like every Wednesday or whatever. Post yeah. Moto vlog. But if you are a beginner rider, 
dude, give it a try. I would, I'm gonna suggest one of these or like any other really, like a smaller naked. The naked are nice because you're not so yeah. lean forward, not all hunched yeah. over like on a sport bike. Yeah, you get to relax a little bit, have yeah. fun. My first, my actual first bike was a 2003 uh, Ninja ZX6R. And let me tell you what, you can start on a 600cc sport bike if you want, but uh, it gets away from you quick. <laughs> I only had mine for a couple months. And when I had that, I was like 17, so I was a lot stupider then too, but you could definitely do it. I taught myself how to ride. That's the first ever motorcycle I ever rode mm -hmm. was that bike. I rode it home from buying it. But this thing, I'm not going to say it doesn't have enough power to kill you because, I mean, fuck, you can die five mile an hour. Yeah, you, you can. But on this bike, you can. It's not going to get away from you. You can go wide open in second gear. It's not going to try and do a wheelie. It's not going to try and spin the tire. It's just going to, it's going to go. Yeah. Looks like it's got enough torque to. It's gonna go, but it's not gonna. It's not gonna try and do a backflip on you like a leader bike or something crazy. Yeah. But yeah, guys. Got a boat rolling in. Yeah. Big old pontoon boat. Yeah. We're gonna get a little more riding videos. Probably put a little montage of us riding after this. With yeah. Some some music or whatever. Mhm. Mm uh, trying to think of where we want to go ride. It'd be fun. Well, guys. Um. Awesome.